I hope you uh, get a lot out of this uh, presentation today. And uh, what we'll be covering is the theory and practice of negotiation and strategic negotiation. I think from the outset, it's important to highlight the major limitation to any successful uh, negotiation. And it's often not the other side, it's ourselves. It's the barriers that we take into negotiation, how we approach it, and also the strategies we outline. What I hope to take you through is the, those fundamental theories and strategies, how we can get from no to yes in achieving what we want from negotiations. So the conventional negotiation model is referred to as positional bargaining. Positional bargaining is the traditional form of negotiation, a form that most people are familiar with, easy to use. It's also referred to as primitive bargaining. So negotiators who adopt this approach generally make extreme claims in a in an attempt to persuade, force, pressure, or coerce the other side into moving towards their preferred uh, position. So the BATNA sets the limits of your zone of potential agreement. It serves as a benchmark for negotiation, and it sets the basis for your negotiation strategy. And as I've outlined before, it's different to your aspirations or your aspiration point. However, too often, the parties will usually enter into negotiations focused on what they want the aspiration position rather than what they stand to lose if there's no deal. So it's important that you consider your worst alternative to a negotiated agreement to provide that, that fallback position. And also to focus on your batner or the bottom line. And if you can focus on that particular area, you can strengthen your negotiation position and improve your negotiation power. Again, I say, don't react, respond. Don't fall back into the basement of emotional uh, reaction and, and take the time. Choose more purposeful responses take yourself to your higher rational thinking and problem solving. So use the power of a positive no is always a good approach. So the positive no is where you start out with a positive, positive no, or start out with acknowledgement. You listen to the other party and you acknowledge the basis of their arguments, the rationality with it as well. That doesn't mean that you agree with the other party, it's that they felt they've been heard and that you understand their position to go across from that as well. That automatically lowers the, the bar as far as defensiveness goes from the other party as well.